Tucker, Tucker Carlson, who used to be on actually opposite me, I was on Fox Business, Tucker was on Fox News at 8 p.m., had a tremendous following, of course, and he's taken that following to a new digital platform that he's launching on his own, right? He has all the branding, he owns that. He's been sitting down with some different people doing some really interesting interviews, and I want to play a clip of this one because there's a golfer very famous golfer named John Daly. He was on the, the tour, right, the PGA Tour, and pretty legendary. And so they sat down to do this interview, and it's just, it's terrific. It's absolutely, it's, it's fantastic. It's entertaining. And John Daly was asked by Tucker, hey, who was the best at golf of all the presidents, and he's played with all of them, that you have played with, who was the best at golf? And I want you to see this exchange. So when you're playing on tour, do you like go to dinner with the other players at night? A lot of times, yeah. A lot of us hang out on the, on the championship. What are their po- so you're open in your politics. You're pretty direct about it. Yeah. I say. Where's common sense in our country? Do you think you've got the majority view among golfers? Yeah. I think all of us on the tours and everything, we all want Daddy Trump back. <laughs> really? Why? Because he was a great president, and he's a great guy once you get to know him. He's, I've known him since the early 90s, and it was funny. I can't remember the tournament. He flew his helicopter in. We played a pro-am. We went out back. We talked a little bit. And when he stood up, he says, mark my words, I'll be president of the United States. This is back in 92, 93, 94, maybe. How? Did you believe him? I did. I did. Interesting. Unbelievable, smart individual that uh, people got to get behind him. We've got to do something. So, but <laughs> it's pretty good. And and there's more. So he he sort of you know says like you know he's great. I really like him. I had this personal relationship. I will say this about Donald Trump. I've interviewed him many times. I've spoken to him many times. What he has is a kind of charisma that really you don't always see in a politician. And I think that that carries through in the crowd when he's at these big events and whether you love him or you hate him, let me just say, you're going to feel something. And overall, one of his, I think, strong characteristics is his love of people and his love of personality and his willingness to make these connections. And so that's, that's one of his top traits. I don't think that every politician is really like that. Some of them are really, really good on camera. And I will tell you that Barack Obama fit that bill, right? Great on camera. Did he like anyone? Did he care about anyone? I don't think so. But Donald Trump, you know, he, he uh, and I've spoken to him again, like many times. I remember he had to go see some parents I was doing a quick interview with him. He had to see some parents who had lost their sons. And it was so important to him that he stayed on time and on schedule because he really wanted to, that he wanted to make it to this event to see these parents. I know that when I left my former place of employment, you know, he called me the next morning at home. I mean, that, it, it's just, I, I think, a level of sort of caring about people on an individual level. Again, you, you may hate him, and he definitely has had his share of screw-ups on that personal front, right? I think about the Twitter account and those mean tweets. But simultaneously, he had some very good policies, and he genuinely seemed to really want to engage with people in a way that you don't always see politicians want to do, right? Joe Biden doesn't want to engage with anyone. Clinton wanted to engage, I guess, a little too much with a few too many people, shall we say. And uh, there there were others that, you know, like Mondale didn't stand a chance against Reagan. Why? Because Reagan had personality. What's that song? Personality, charm, and personality. <laughs> I digress. But personality matters. And that's what John Daly is getting at. The personality of Trump came through. I want to pick up that clip because... He says something, again, about who was the best golfer. I I don't think we got to that. And and he references, actually, Tiger Woods and and how one of these people in particular compared and contrasted to Tiger. Let's let's play, if we can pick it up from that, guys, that would be great. Among professional golfers, that's like a pretty common view. No doubt. How's his golf? How would you assess it? I got to work with his chipping a little bit, but he hits it good. He puts it good. 
Um, we just got to work on his chipping. What's wrong with the chipping? He just got, I got keep telling him, you got to move the ball up. Everybody thinks when you chip, you got to move it back. You actually need to move it up a little bit. If I don't see him for a while, it goes back to that bad habit again. So when you correct him. Oh, he chips it like a, chips it like Tiger or Phil. So why not be like full-time Trump golf coach? <laughs> That's great. You know, you can go watch Tucker on his show. I want to play one more little clip. So we'll pause it for just a second. I I want to get to one more thing because he talks about Clinton in this interview. But, you know, Tucker has his own thing now, and you can subscribe, and you can watch the entire interview. And I I like to put that out there. One, because I'm using his clip, so thank you, Tucker, for that. And two, because it's important as we all look at this changing media landscape to really, I think, support one another in these different different ventures. And hats off to him for, for going solo. It's, it's, it's better this way. Trust me. Anyway, he did ask him. He said, uh, was, there, was there a president that cheated? Might this have been Bill Clinton that cheated at golf? And I couldn't believe the answer. Let's see if we can cut to that question and the answer right now. <laughs> he does seem and serious about it. if we have to watch a little it. more, it's okay. Oh, he loves it. He's passionate about it. But he, what I love about him, he plays quick. We go out play golf. We could have an eightsome with him, and we're done in three hours. Really? Yeah. He don't so mess he, he's still extolling the virtues the of Clinton Donald Trump. Is that true? Who's oh yeah. I mean, Bill would he would take the club back, say, "Oh shit, give me another ball." Before he even hit the first one, he'd throw another one down. But he never kept score. I mean, did you ever play with him? Yeah, I had to play with him one time. What'd you think? Okay, I just thought that was that was funny and I wanted to share that with you.